Hello everyone, good day scholars. So for today's lesson, we have now uh, in module 2, Introduction to Online Opportunities, module 2, Roadmap to Success. Okay, so here we are now crafting your roadmap so you will be a successful freelancer someday. Okay, so let's go. So before we go in depth on our discussion for today, uh, let's... Uh, let's uh, check the four learning types okay kung saan ka ba nakabelong dito okay moving forward actually i am uh with my test here i'm in the auditory learners so ako daw yung mas nakaka-learn or mas na-absorb ng isip ko o mas na-absorb ko kapag may kapag narinig ko siya or if I could be able to recite what I am um, learning yung bang ulit-ulitin ko yung kailangan kong i-express kailangan kong i-recite kailangan kong ulitin and kailangan din paulit-ulit ko siya mapakinggan okay, so that's me, auditory learners okay, so we'll discuss each one of this no? uh, for reading there are also there are people or there are learners na mas natututo sila if they, are, if they will read and write uh, their task. Okay, so learn and learn best when you guess it. Reading and writing, interacting with text is more powerful for them than hearing or seeing images. Okay, so uh, ako, uh, from auditory learners, papunta ako doon. Kasi actually, uh, when I'm listening, I always write para at least ma kapag sinusulat ko kasi mas madali kong na-memorize or mas madaling mapasok sa isip ko okay so I could be an auditory learner at the same time reading and writing learners okay for kinesthetic learners hands-on experimental learners they learn best by doing so you have a copy of this scholars okay so please check on it na lang later no and then try to maximize para mabaso niyo yung mga definition dito. Okay. So, ito yung mga learners na kailangan nilang i-experiment o kailangan nilang patunayan mismo sa sarili nila that uh, the theory is something true. Okay. So, o kaya naman, may mga dapat hands-on activity sila para mas madali nilang ma-absorb yung kanilang pinag-aaralan. Okay. So, for visual learners, prefer to see info and to visualize the relationship between ideas. So, itong mga visual learners, that is why during our elementary days, most especially sa mga kinder, mga visual learners pa ang mga yan, sometimes they would really understand that much kapag may mga comparison na images. No? Pag maganda yung mga visuals, pag dumating yung time na laki na rin sila, they could also become a visual learners. So, sa so mga presentations ninyo, sa mga presentations dapat makulay maraming maraming images maraming visuals no para mas maintindihan ng particular learners ayon okay sa so, as per tactics give them charts and graphics make your presentation highly visual o, so yun na yung nabanggit ko kanina tactics naman for kinesthetic sprinkle in a few exercises that get your audience to stand up and move around in order to demonstrate or experience certain points Okay, so there's per, some, pertains something to, uh, yeah, yung kailangan i-action mo. Okay, so when, like when you are teaching a song, mas maganda kung i-action mo siya para mas madali niya ma-absorb at ma-internalize yung song. Okay, so with this, you you will have an activity, no? Um, but we will do it later. I will just uh, show you your activity for this uh, module, no? So, ito, itong educationalplanner.org, uh, when you answer all of this question, uh, class, you will discover kung anong type of learner ka. Okay? Kung what type of uh, uh, learners, uh, what type of learners ka. Okay? So, you will do this later after my discussion. Okay? So, we'll continue. Okay, kung may four types of learners, meron din naman tayong eight multiple intelligence. 
intelligences. Okay, remove this one here. Okay. According to Howard Gartner's theory, Harvard, a Harvard professor, meron daw eight multiple intelligences. Intelligences ang tao. Now, you have your linguist, naturalist, musical or rhythmic. That is why uh, may mga very, very good in playing guitar, playing the piano, and, and most especially composing a song, no? Kasi musical or rhythmic ang kanilang inclination. Kinesthetics, in sports naman ito. For visual and spatial, logical or mathematical, mga acad academians, no? Mga mathematics, magagaling sila dyan, no? Yung mga tao na yan, no? Number seven, interpersonal or interpersonal, mga PR works, no? So, uh, so, dapat ma-discover din ninyo kung nasaan kayo nakabilong here. Sa eight multiple intelligences as well as dito sa four learning types. So, hindi natin sinasabi na if you are number four, kinesthetics, eh, uh, kumbaga, dyan ka nag-excel eh. Dyan ka magaling. So, hindi natin pwedeng sabihin na you are dumb. Okay? Kasi yan yung uh, dyan ka nakabilaw na category ng level ng, intellig ng uh, intelligences or ng intelligent. Okay? So, actually, you will have another activity here. Click ko lang yung link. Okay. So, with this, you will also discover your level of intelligence. Okay? So, andyan lang din yan, class, doon sa my slides nyo. You just need to click on the link inside the slide. Okay? Now, we continue. Why determine your zone of genius? Okay? Your own, your own, you own your gift. Of course, others work, but you are, but you're having fun. Okay. So, money motivates other people, but not you. Okay. So, if you have that gift, o na-determine mo yung zone of genius mo, no? So, you treat it as only as uh, you are having a fun, or you're having enjoyment. So, nag enjoy ka lang. Uh, hindi ka na-stress sa mga trabaho. Kasi yun ang zone of genius mo. But when you you you, you change the category of your genius, your zone of genius, no? Or, uh, mabibigla ka. So, parang, parang hindi ako magaling dyan eh. Parang dito ako mas nag excel Okay. So, if you find, if you discover that zone of genius, pwede kang mag-focus doon. Most especially sa freelancing career sa mga skills mo. Okay. So, sometimes, yun nga, money motivates other other people but not you kasi you are having fun na so okay lang if you could do it for free or talagang minsan naman meron talagang mga gawain tayo na ang goal mo naman is hindi money okay so why is it important to determine what you are passionate about okay about passion naman tayo dito class ha okay so yung passion yung yung passion niyo dagdagan natin ng purpose and dagdagan din natin ng prosperity. You should be the, that person. Okay? Is, is equal you, sabi nga. So, life is not all about us. It's about what we are willing to do, learn, and give, and give so that that others can feel you exist and is making a difference. Okay? So, it's all about not being selfish. Now, when you learn something uh, that if you are willing to do so that others may benef benef may uh, gain benefit from what you are doing and later on will really understand that you exist. Okay? And making, and is making a difference. So, maganda sana na kung gano'ng mga goal nating lahat. No? So, ito yung sinasabi nating uh, true love, where is living for the sake of others kung yun lagi ang nating iniisip, there would be a peace in this world. Okay? So, yeah. So, uh, let us not be all self-centered, but, in self, but instead, a selfless being. So, parang ito yung pinakakabuan ng sinasabi ng quotation na to, no? So, your passion plus purpose, yeah, you are passionate about something, or kung wala ka namang purpose, so, hindi ka, hindi ka makakapag-prosper o kung hindi ka makaka-move on 
Okay? So, kailangan yung passion mo may purpose. Plus, dagdagan mo ng prosperity. Yan. It's you. It's a developed you. Okay. Let's go. Are you ready to give it a try? Okay. Are you, class? Mm-hmm. So, uh, if yes, then we are going to discuss between your dreams versus your goals. Okay. So, what about your dream or your dreams? My S, no? Kailangan marami. Uh, and when you, your dreams and setting goals and then take action. Okay? So, hold on. Increase ko lang itong okay. Baba ko lang itong action video. Okay. So, um, under the, on the left column is your dreams and on the other side is your goal. Let's try to differentiate para mas klaro lang. Baka kasi dream din ng dream eh hindi naman hindi naman natin nakcraft yung goal on that particular dream. So at hindi rin natin take action, so wala lang yung dream natin, mauubusan na lang ng parang ganoon, no? So dreams, things you think of doing or having. So gusto ko to, sana pagdating ng panahon, sana sana ganito. So yon, things you think of doing. Okay. So, yung goals naman are those things you're willing to act on. Okay, so, so, ito yung goals mo for this month, o yung goal mo for this month. So, kailangan mong gawin, take action, or act upon. Okay, happens when, dreams happens when asleep, or daydreaming. Okay, <laughs> so, uh oo, <coughs> daydreaming yung pagkatapos mong kumain, o ito naman yung tipong wala kang magawa, no? mainit o nandun ka sa ilan ng puno, yan, magiging dreaming ka. You can actually formulate dreams naman or develop your dreams, no? When you are daydreaming. Kay asleep, wala ka ng control dyan. So, goals happens when awake. Of course. Free have cost. Okay, so, syempre, libre lang naman din talagang mga harap. Pero, when you, when you, when you want to achieve your goals, of course, may cost. Time, cost na yan. Okay, so kung wala ka mang i-shell out na pera, just in case, yung time mo, yung investment mo ng time, cost na rin yan. Don't produce results. Don't produce results. Of course, eh, ano lang naman yan eh. Parang nasa isip mo lang na sana, no? Yung the words, sana, no? Sana maging mayaman ako, sana magkakotse ako. So, goals produces results. Whether it is uh, a result that is negative or a result that is positive, it is still um, uh, it is it is still produce results no yun yung point daw so imaginary ang dreams sa imaginary when based on reality naman ang goals okay so don't have finish line time bound okay so pwede naman yung goal mo ma-extend pa ulit ng another year another month or another week pero what is important is time bounded ang goals don't need don't need focus just thoughts okay so yun lang pagka nag daydreaming ka ulit isipin mo ulit yung, yung pangarap mo just thinking about it okay pag goals naman you need to focus on okay you need to focus you need you should you will have a plan para ma-reach mo yung goals mo requires imagination requires okay siglet class ilipat ko lang sa gitna requires hard work okay of course kailangan wala namang kailangan talaga hard work kasi depende sa goals mo may mga goals na mahirap meron namang goals na madali mo lang magawa stretches your imagination stretches you <laughs> of course <coughs> requires hard work so it will really stretch your muscles and your bones and the whole of your body so inspire people can change people's lives. Okay. So, kung ano man yung goal mo, no, kung pang sarili mo man yan and for other people, it will surely change life because if they, if other people would see changes from you and then that that changes inspires them, so they will somehow change their lives or imitate yung mga nakita nilang pagbabago sa'yo. Okay? So, exist in your thoughts alone and in writing okay you should write when you are uh, planning to have goals and put it 
uh, ilagay mo sa board mo, ilagay mo sa kung saan mo pwede laging makita para you would, you would have a focus in reaching out your goals. Okay, so class, this is your dreams and this is your goals. Dapat klaro tayo dyan. Okay, so magkaiba yan. Okay, so ang, ang main difference lang yan, ang dreams, it is just in your thoughts lang. Pero ang goals mo, you should take action na pa. Okay? So, it all starts with a need and or a dream. Okay? So, of course, may mga kanya-kanya tayong mga needs sa buhay na kailangan gawin. So, sometimes, yung driving force mo to fulfill your dream comes from that. Okay, so, maybe your dream of have becoming an artist, a writer, a teacher, an athlete, pilot, speaker, an influencer, entrepreneur, or others. Okay, any of this, kung saan ka man qualified mo, especially if you're able to, other, to uh, determine yung zone of genius mo, then go for it. Take action upon it and make Uh, a tangible goal. Okay? Plan your goal para ma-achieve mo ito. Okay? So, here, we're going to discuss is smart goals. Okay? So, ang smart goals divided into three. So, meron tayong tinatawag na short-term goals. Meron kayong medium. Meron tayong long-term. So, 6 to 12, short-term. 2 to 5 years, medium-term. And 6 to 10 years is yung purpose. O long-term purpose na to. Medyo makabahaba na. Okay. So, with your smart goals, uh, ito yung mga different kinds of example ng smart goals. You have your personal, like personal, so what laptop, anong brand, okay, how much, and kailan mo pwedeng mabili. So, dapat nakalagay doon. So, magiging ano mo to eh. Ito yung tinatawag na uh, I forgot, later on. Pag maalala ko, no? So, sa career mo naman, uh, or business, no? So, what? One stable client. Okay. That one stable client will suffice or will cover up your four other clients na wino-work out mo ngayon, just in case, no? So, ibig sabihin, yung kikitain mo sa apat na kliyente na yan, kikitain mo na lang sa one client mo or one stable client mo with 40 hours per month. Okay, 24 stable clients in December 2020. So, pwede rin yun. How much? $10 per hour. Subcontracted to VAs when, when starting month 3 of extensive marketing. Okay. So, yan. At least medyo klaro, no? Klaro, klaro yung, what, yung magiging direction mo. So, here, family naman. Para naman sa family mo, what? Family vacation? Of course naman. Dapat naman, no? Baka naman. So, where? Seven days in Hong Kong or Disneyland or whatever, wherever you want. O kahit na anong fa family goals na gusto mo. No? Hindi lang naman vacation. How much? 15K per box. When? December 1 to 7. Wow. Kanagay pa talaga 1 to 7. No? Mayroon talaga siyang date. Okay? So, yan, yan ang pagka-craft ng smart goals class. Okay. We are done with smart goals. Now, we proceed to your annual plan. Medyo papunta na tayo sa midterm. No? Short kanina. No? Uh, and then midterm goals na. Okay. So, annual plan. Create an editable calendar. Create milestone. Small achievable goals. Set timeline. Okay. So, milestone. Ano na ba yung na-achieve mo? Ano pa ba yung hindi? <coughs> so, Small achievable goals, importante din yan. Map out the steps you are going to do. Hit your milestone. Okay, so, uh, my steps. So, kailangan my steps ka. In on each and every step, may milestone ka kung na-achieve mo ba o hindi. Or in progress pa lang. Mark your progress. Of course, para meron kang guide. You can make it detailed as you want. Pwede by presentation in progress mo para mas may visual ka, no? Do, rinse, and repeat. Okay? So, paulit-ulit lang, na paulit-ulit lang, para ma-practice mo, at least meron kang mas clear na guide. Okay. So, uh, task, skills and passion, okay, actual vers versus ideal budget. So, don't worry, meron mga templates tayo nito, class, no? All you have to do is to fill in, in the template with all honesty. Okay, so yun, ang, yun lang ang request ko. 
Ten smart goals, costing, link to sample task. Okay, so annual plan, link to sample task. So I will not, uh, I will not click na this one because I'm gonna show you directly yung mga task na ito. Okay, so we we'll go to your uh, task. Okay, so we're done with this slide. I uh, will we'll, we'll proceed to the sheet directly from directly from the personal road mapping guide sheet. Okay. So, this is actually uh, your task, no? but I will explain first in detail so you would be able to understand before doing it. So, uh, anyway, I will explain it to you naman kung paano nyo siyang gagawin. No? But for now, this is an actual, uh, uh, an actual template of mine. Totoo yung mga nakalagay dito. No? So, ito talaga yung nakraft ko for this. No? So, I um, uh, won't be able to input na but I will discuss in details ko ano yung mga entries. Okay, so on the first sheet, may instructions dito class. Please follow, read thoroughly, and follow. Okay, for, for the next sheet would be skills and passion discovery. So, kailangan fill up nyo dito with all honesty, like I said a while ago. So, on uh, uh, so, because this is very important later on, no, to identify your skills and passion, no? So, isip-isip lang kung ano ba yung mga possible skills mo yon and yung passions mo. Okay. So, what I know, so, ito yung mga what I know ko, MS Office, Chatbot, Web Development, etc. So, what I love doing, so, hindi ibig sabihin lahat ng gusto ko, ay lahat ng, may, na, lahat ng alam ko, ay eh, gusto ko din namang gawin. Okay, mayroon siguro dito, ayaw ko munang gawin, maybe in the near future, but for now, ito lang muna yung gusto kong gawin. So, it doesn't, it doesn't follow na kung ano nandito, ilalagay nyo dito class, ha? Okay, so just be honest. My least favorite task, o mas dumami. Okay, so ibig sabihin, ito yung mas ayaw kong gawin. Okay yung list lang. Gusto ko naman kaso hindi ko na siya top priority. So, what I want to learn. Okay, so here, eto naman yung mga ibang skills pa na gusto ko na gusto ko pang matutunan. Okay, aside from my current skills na what I know, eto rin yung mga skills na gusto ko pang matutunan. Okay, so fill this up class on your task later. Just fill it up with all honesty. Okay, now we go to the uh, okay. I will move my video here. Okay. So, uh, uh, this sheet is the actual versus ideal budget. Okay, the actual po ano yung man yung budget yung uh, pinagchachagaan yung budget ngayon. <coughs> pinagchachagaan talaga yun. O yung current na budget nyo ngayon, no? Versus yung ideal. Okay, so uh, of course. Alam ko, majority of you, including me, actually, no? Hindi idea yung kinikita ko ngayon. That's why, meron pa rin akong mas mataas pang goal, o mas, uh, mas mataas pang ideal budget, no? So, on this column, <coughs> on this column, no? Kalaga dito, total monthly, actual budget ni Well, kailan naman, well, uh, kailangan ma-determine nyo to with, with, ano, yung totoo lang, no? Para at least, meron kayong magiging smart goals later on. Okay? So, with your monthly fixed expenses, you have here your rent, car payment. Okay? Kung iba ang mga description na to, class, you can change it naman, no problem. Or you can add another cell. No problem. Ang gusto lang naman natin, ang gusto lang naman naming matutunan ninyo is to craft this actual and versus budget para meron kayong guide. Okay? So, <coughs> anyway, excuse me. Anyway, these are all basics, na, basic uh, expenses naman, no? Basic needs natin, no? Sa bahay. Like, you have your internet, water bill, LPG. O, so, kailangan, meron kayo LPG. Hindi naman kayo pwede makapagot kung wala unless you're using an electronic device for that. Okay? Health insurance, okay, etc. Tanggalin yung mga hindi applicable sa inyo. Okay? So, pag nailagay nyo siya, ilagay nyo dito, mag-appear naman dito class yung difference kasi yung ideal ninyo. Ibig sabihin, on, on this difference uh, column, ito yung i-work out ninyo. Nakikita nyo kung kulang pa or sobra 
So, kailangan ito yung i-work out ninyo. Okay? So, sa baba, monthly discretional expenses. Ibig sabihin, pwedeng meron, pwedeng wala. Okay? Discretional. Pwede mong bayaran, pwede namang hindi. So, bahala ka. Magkatambak-tambak na yung utang mo. So, depende, no? So, at least, <coughs> kung wala, di wala kayong pwedeng ilagay, pero alam ko, meron, meron kayong nalagay. Okay? So, yun yung ideal and actual and ideal. So, automatic naman yan siya class na computation. So, hindi naman king kayo may hirapan na. Okay. So, beside this column, the actual versus the ideal budget, no? Uh, on this part, automatic din yung computation ng uh, in summary ng actual and ideal income mo. Okay? So, makikita mo dito, ah, okay, meron akong savings with my ideal budget, magkakaroon ako ng 1,726 uh, na savings. Not bad. Okay, ibig sabihin, labas naman na lahat yung mga expenses ko dyan, including insurances, etc. na ilabas na dyan. Savings ko na lang din talaga ito. Okay. And by the way, class, this is computed in dollars. Do not change the dollar sign into peso sign. Okay? Kasi, ano to talaga? kailangan talaga dollars kasi freelancer tayo ang mga kliyente natin magbabayad sa atin ng dollars para doon tayo nakafocus okay so for smart goals there we go okay so this this will be divided into three the short term mid term mid medium term sorry and the long term so diniskas ko ito kanina so ito na yung uh, actual na application nung diniskas natin kanina okay So, in here, you need to put your smart goals and the deadline. Kailangan ma-fill up ang ito, class. Walang dapat bakante. Kung pwede nga, magdagdag pa kayo ng isa. Okay? So, medium term, remember, this is 2 to 5 years. Be realistic with your goals. Ha? So, kailangan uh, andun ka sa, sa kayang-kayang kaya mo din naman talagang abutin. Okay? Right? So, Yeah. So again, may deadline tayo dito, no? May deadline and all sort of that. So long term ganun din. Okay? Fill it up. Kahit anong goals 'yan, pang sarili, pang family, pang freelancing mo, don't forget, dapat andito rin at pasok din ang goals mo for your career. Okay? We now proceed to the last sheet of this road mapping guide, which is the sales goal. Okay. Ito naman class, no? Just have to input your total monthly at saka yung ideal mo and automatic na rin naman na yung computation niya. Okay? So, uh, do not skip this one. This is also very important. Check natin yung goals dito. Check it. Ayan. For 130 and 1,000. So, yun yung ilalagay nyo dito. Okay? Your total monthly income. Okay. So, ilang client to? Isang client pa lang to sa kabila. Okay, so if you have any questions, um, please do not hesitate to unmute your mic, and I am gladly will assist you. Okay, so from here, I am going to dis to uh, discuss to you naman yung annual task plan. Okay, itong annual task plan 2.1. Kanina, ito yung road mapping, road mapping guide niyo. This is a different task. And then ngayon naman, yung annual task plan. Ito ulit yung link. And class, do not forget to make a copy. Okay? Again, this is the original file. Mapapatungan to. Lagot kayo. Okay? So, make a copy. Okay? Save it to your drive, particular folder, para yun na magiging copy niyo. Okay? So, what I will show you is my own annual task plan. Okay? Para mas makita ninyo, no? So, for January, start to zero to see or roadmap. Ito kasi yung sa isang group ko, no? So, I actually achieve it. Improve current skills, achieve, optimize, achieve. Okay, so actually, dalawa lang naman itong pagpipilian nyo rito. Whether it is it achieve or in progress. So, wala kang choice. Kailangan achieve mo yung goals mo dito. Kailangan achieve mo yung goal mo or yung goals mo. Alright? So, ibig sabihin... So, huwag niyong ilalagay na achieve ito dahil ibabalik sa inyo ng assessor yan kasi December pa yan yung class. Okay? Dapat in progress lang siya. Okay? Again, it should be tangible and it should be achievable. Okay? Huwag naman yung masyadong imposible. Alright? 
So, um, beside the annual, annual plan sheet, you have your January to December sheet na planner naman. So, ito kasi yung buong taon mo. Ito yung pinaka-general uh, uh, general what do you call this? Uh, general plan mo in in uh, on in a uh, yearly ano uh, okay, view okay so yan makikita mo siya diyan on a monthly basis you have here your plan your detailed plan na okay so you have to create your own legend here and then fill this up kung anong kung anong particular din yan kung anong gagawin mo para ma-achieve mo etong goal mo na ito so ah uh, ito nilayout ko lang siya ng ganyan but you can Uh, uh, you can provide here detailed information later on time, date ano yung strategy mo, walang problema flexible naman itong itong sheet natin okay, so you need to fill this up, up to December class, okay up to December, kailangan kompleto yan siya so please take time, okay uh, take this opportunity class, na makumpleto nyo to at mas maging maayos kasi makakatulong ng malaki sa inyo to Okay, mga katulong lalo na sa inyong freelancing career para meron kayong sabi nga roadmap and guide. Okay? Right? So So okay, um, good luck to your task. Again, um, tawag lang kayo, no? Unmute niyo lang yung mic niyo kung meron kayong mga questions. Okay? That's, okay, thank you.